hi guys welcome to let's talk tv if you're new here please do subscribe and turn on post notifications as i post everything entertainment and sports if that is what interests you would like to be here let's bring all the entertainment and sports in fact this is your last bus stop so guys let's go over to the news of today today we're going to talk about specifically the music the movie industry not the music the movie the movie industry so there is this um director that has been accused before of <laughs> selling sex for roles or whatever and his name is victor pala so yesterday another person came to accuse him because i went to the comment section and i found out that this is not the first time he's been accused for sex for role like this is not the first time people were saying he was accused last year too so this is what this lady had to say her name is very cute prices that is her username she said second slide i will post the other discussion soon ladies please beware of this man mr victor pala he is practically a walking bag of infection because why not god knows the uncountable number of ladies he slept with with all in with all in the name of i would give you a role in his terrible in his terrible movies his terrible <laughs> people like this constantly tarnishing the image of the movie industry lo bold of him to say he's part of the top 10 producers in nigeria hello sir News flash, you are bottom hundred. He holds auditions in his office, mainly to scout for desperate and naive ladies. After asking you to the audition, he would ask you what you can also do for him. Then he would say you and I are both adults, you should know what I want. This is how other celebrities did it. He would manipulate you with words, and when you say no to his sex request, he would tell you you are not ready for the movie industry. Don't fall victim. Stay safe out there my ladies and just in case you try to lie to lie mr victor Opala, i have received or is it how you are you law ladies to a lodge in surulere hmm. lo i have received too i would soon start releasing them i have your time now i'm just starting i promise you know all of these things are just shocking to see sex for mark sex for rose and one thing to learn in life is to not be desperate if you're desperate people go use your head though because i feel like if she was really desperate to um to get that she would have slept with this man and all these nollywood producers i don't know why they feel like they should sleep with somebody before they actually give them the rule like is it now a sex industry if you want to have sex with people don't you know like there are people that you can pay for sex they are prostitutes or hookup girls why do you not have to use aspiring actress why do you want to sleep with them <laughs> well let's just move on because she dropped receipts so i like people that talk and when they are talking they are dropping receipts so she dropped this chat that she had with him so he asked her she, yeah she said he said she's okay she told him if the shoot is on the mainland i can still make it okay if, if the shoot is on the island i can still make it he now told her it's on the mainland she now said i can make it he now said see me in the office next week she now said all right sir what day and time then she now came again and said good evening sir he now said wednesday by 12 noon she now said all right sir please location he now gave her the location and then told her to call a particular office number for directions. Like she had sense. She did not um, put the um, address and she didn't put the phone number. She covered them up. She not told him, all right, thank you. She not said, sorry, I'm a little confused. This coming Wednesday, right? She not told her next tomorrow. All right, thank you, sir. She not said, good morning, sir, on my way. Then he went for that. She said, I just got there. He not told her, wait for me not around here she now said to be sure does he have um does he have whatever logo in front um he said yes ask them for the movie office she now said all right sir she now told him i want to ask something yes the answer might be obvious but then i just want to ask you again is this a real relationship like an account one you know what i mean account one what he now said account what does does don't know what that means actual he now said what do you want it to be Whatever you want is okay by me. Really? He now said, yup. Okay. She now said, like I said, I'm just starting. Can you see how much of a pervert he is? He told me he'll be shooting. I'll be shooting with him one weekend only. For this month to start calling and texting me that I'll have to sleep in the same hotel with him. Victor Pala, should I start with how you sexually harassed me in your office? 
laughing my ass out. I don't p pity animals like you. And then she dropped other chats that she had with him. And the man, where the man told her would be expecting you, she said, all right, sure. Then I said, is it raining there? She now said, yes, sir, it's heavy. He now said, oh, she now dropped the sticker. Yes, sir, it's a heavy, oh. He now said, it will calm down. And the weather is good for two. Wow. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. He now told her, so where do you want to go to? She now said, she doesn't know. Then I said, is it that, that lounge or any lounge at all? I said, I don't want to go to any lounge. Okay, let's go to a hotel. She now sent laughing emoji and said, Mr. Victor, basically, I'm saying I don't want to be in the room. <laughs> oh my, all this man. She said, the man now said, okay, I want to be in the room. And I said, I hope I won't have issues with you this weekend. Let me know on time. She now said, honestly, you might have issues. And I said, okay, I'd rather not. Please, can I not share a room with you, please? Because you will definitely have an issue with me after this. Hmm. Well, she gave him pre-warning. And then, this is the response that the man had to say. His response was lacking proof and evidence, but I'm just going to show it to you guys so you can decide for yourself. But for me, the response was not it. Um, He said, he came online and said, I see that when they don't get what they want, they call you out and try and ruin your life. And then he continued. He said, all I've ever done is to help up and coming actors, many of who have benefited from my online auditions and casting. Please, if you have benefited, come and tell us or let us know. <laughs> he said, she got angry and I blocked her everywhere. I never asked her for sex or anything of that nature, as there was no reason to do so. And because I had made that mistake in the past, I would never do so again. You see, he's even admitting that it was something that he had done in the past. So guys, I told you he was once accused of this kind of thing. So he, he started with part one. So this girl called Angel Chris came into my DM and wanted to attend my audition. I wanted to act. And I told her to meet me where we were shooting in the hotel. And she came there. We had a long talk in the open bar on how they have harassed her in the advertising sector where she had worked for some time. We had a long discussion and she auditioned for a cameo appearance and left. We kept in touch as friends and I never saw her again until the day she came on set of the film, was not even the one directing because I was away in Bini for a barrier and only came in on the third day. We never spoke again, but I heard from other actors of how she complained about the tiny they were given and how they kept them from morning till night without featuring her. She kept spreading negative energy on set and I called her and warned her seriously, threatening to yank her off, to yank off, Okay, to, I think it was Yanka off. Yanka off from her, Yanka has scenes off from the film. Yanka off her scenes from the scene. So that's just basically what he said. For me, that does not look like when somebody drops receipt. If you're coming, come and be dropping your own receipt too. Somebody cannot drop receipt and then you're coming with no evidence and you're trying to convince us. Trying to convince us with what are we supposed to believe you over the person that has dropped the receipt? See, the movie industry, the modeling industry, the advertising sector, they are all very, very, very dicey. Because the kind of stories that we hear from there, you would be shocked. Now, she said, she told him that he, she had been harassed in the advertising sector. I don't know why he came to come and tell us that. I don't think it's important. Oh, guy, it is not evidence. Is he trying to blackmail her or blackmail us into believing him? I don't understand. Is he trying to manipulate Sorry, is he trying to manipulate us into believing him? Because it doesn't make sense that he even brought that detail. Oh, guy, it's not our business. Bring your evidence and prove to us that you didn't actually do anything with this lady. Not coming to tell us that she actually... I don't even understand. Everything he said did not make sense because there was no evidence. The girl brought proof. She did not bring the proof. So, I don't understand. And the fact that he has been accused of this before makes it all almost believable. Well, I would say because of those evidences I saw, it makes it believable, very believable. And the fact that he has been accused before of it. Do you understand? Because honestly, all these men, sometimes, they don't know how to keep themselves together and control their orgies. They are just everywhere. So guys, Merry Men 2 is back on our screen and it premiered in Lagos on the 13th of October. So guys, if you guys are interested, please, the premiere was yesterday and I feel like everybody would want to see that movie because it's looking nice. And I saw some shirts from it. It's really, really nice. I saw some of the producers, the directors. I didn't go there, obviously. I saw it on the internet. And it's looking like it's going to be a really nice, entertaining film. So you guys can go and watch it. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. What do you think about this? Do you think the man is lying? Do you think the lady is lying? And why do you think the man did not come with his receipts? He just came with words to come and speak to us. 
don't forget to subscribe turn on post notifications and give this video a thumbs up and do have a nice day